What's up guys, Max Vonify here, and today I'll be bringing you guys a quick tutorial showing you guys how to put to use the pulse notification light on your Samsung Galaxy Nexus, and that you should find that light right under the uh, the uh, device's Super AMOLED display. Now, uh, please excuse me if I make any uh, mistakes with the pronounced, not pronunciation, but the uh, names of programs and applications on this device because I'm kind of new to the full Android-based operating system. Now what you want to do is you want to boot up into the uh, phone. I'm just going to log in right there. Now the purpose of this tutorial is to for you guys to be able to apply different um, or assign different lights to different notifications such as missed calls or text messages or even your emails. Um, there's a lot of different notifications on this phone and I'll get to that in a second. First of all, you just want to go to your settings. Now now that I am in my settings, I'm just going to go to About Phone and show you guys that I am running 4.1 Jelly Bean. Now the colors are kind of messed up on my screen. Right here I'm looking at a red Jelly Bean, whereas on the camera it's um, orange for some reason. Anyways, um, since you guys are in the settings, you want to go to the Device tab and click on Display. Once you're in display, you just want to check the last box, which is pulse notification light. Again, this might vary uh, depending on what firmware you're using. If you're using the stock ice cream sandwich, um, it might vary, that's all. Um, now you want to go to your home screen. From your home screen, uh, click on the app page, and you want to find your Play Store or your App Store. In here, you want to go to the search bar, and you want to hit Light Flow, or search Light Flow. I already have it um, saved over there. You should get a... Uh, uh, two uh, results uh, by the same developer, Rage Consulting. I'm just going to work with the free version right now or the light version. If you want uh, some more user customizable options, you might want to go with the 299 version. Like I, like I said, I'm going to be working with the free version. I haven't actually tested the um, the paid version uh, as of right now. Anyways, um, once you click on that, you want to go ahead and install the application and then open it. Now I'm just going to clear the application out of my uh, recent apps. I'm going to open it up fresh. This should be the main menu, which you're going to be looking at, um, depending on uh, which update you're on. Um, you got your settings, volume, tools, notification, and notifications, and more apps. Today we're just going to be working with the notifications. Once you click on the notifications, you should be um, you should be uh, on this page with uh, you have an array of different colors. You have green, yellow, red, blue, all of that. And each of these colors are assigned to a different notification. Like for green, I have it assigned to both my Gmail accounts. Red, I have it for missed call and low battery. And it got sky blue for uh, my text messages and stuff like that. Now, uh, today we're just going to be working on the missed calls notification. When you're in the note, you're going to have a couple tabs, I believe six tabs. We're just going to be working with the first two today because we don't have that much time. Notifications. You want to enable the notification and um, you can customize any one of these options to your personal liking. Um, I personally like the pull down notification bar to cancel the notification. So, uh, for say I get a missed call notification, I could just turn my phone on, pull down the uh, notification bar, and it will cancel the uh, periodic blinking by the pulse notification light. Now, you want to go into your light. You can enable the light. Well, that's what this full tutorial is about. You want to enable the light. You want to go to your notification color. Over here, you can select the different colors you want. You can even customize your own color if you're kind of sick of the preset colors. And this can be HSV, RGB, and a hex code uh, for a specific color. Um, what I like about this is all, you can also change the duration of this notification. Right now I have it set to 5 minutes. You don't really want to have this notification on for too long, mainly because it's a factor towards draining your, ba your battery. LED flash rate. I like to have it on fast so I can take a quick uh, glance at my phone on my desk and I can tell whether I have a notification or not. Um, notification color. I'm just going to go ahead and select red because it canceled it for some reason and I'm going to go back to my home screen. I'm going to go ahead and dial the phone. I'm just going to put it asleep and I'm going to dial the phone for my home phone and I'm just going to show you this light working. Now you're going to see the white light at first telling me that I have a incoming call but for the op... hold on. I'll explain to you in a second. And I just disconnected the call. All right, the white light should just be uh, for incoming calls and booting up into the operating system because those are the preset ones by Android. Now, if you look, um, if you look at uh, the top left-hand corner, oh, it turned off. But as you can see, the red light is blinking, um, and I have it on the fast setting, so that's what you should expect um, periodically. Anyways, if I go into my phone and I look at the top left-hand corner of my screen, I, I do have a notification over there telling me that I have a, a missed call. Now if I just boot into the phone, 
go to the notif no go to the notification um, bar and um, get rid of that notification. If I turn the phone off, as you can see, the red light is not blinking anymore. Now this app is a gr uh, this is a great app for your Galaxy Nexus, Nexus especially because it has that uh, neat little feature with that light. If you have other phones, um, I mean since this is on the Android market and the uh, Google Play market, this should work with um, pretty much essentially any phone that has a notification light or an RGB notification light. So um, that basically concludes my video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please put it in the uh, comment section below. I'll uh, try my best to answer it. Like I said, I'm not too, um, I still don't know my way around the uh, Android operating system. It's still pretty new to me. I've only had this phone for a week. Um, and that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See ya.